inside of it. Okay. So, another feature on here is a missile launcher. But there's a con about this thing. Watch. Yeah, see? It just flew off. It'll, when you flick the missile, the whole thing launches off. Yeah, not a really good design. Yeah, watch again. Oh, that time it worked, but the missile launcher's like half off. Ugh. So yeah, not a really good part of the set. When it actually does work, it can actually knock down a couple of Lego figures. Now, this room. What is this room? Can you please tell me if you know? Because it didn't really... I've never... I, I, can't, I can't even fit anything in there. It's hard to fit even one Lego guy in there. So, if you know what that room is, comment and tell me. Thanks. Appreciate it. Now, another feature of this clone triple tank is this. This door brings a whole, that whole classic Star Wars feeling. To me, it looks like that, how the door is designed. Then you just pull out some guns for your clones. Comes with two rifles and two blasters. And just slide back. Oh, God. Ugh, sorry guys. Um, hang on. Ah, heck with it. I'll just leave it out there. Okay. So that's that. Then over here, there's on the top, there's a cannon. A rotary, a rotary cannon. You can, you can, oh, you can, um, move the cannon up and down for your Jedi or clone that's on it and and then there you can put it, anyone on it okay now in this room I'm not sure what this room is is it like the con center at the back I don't know, but if you have some extra clone troopers, you just pop one in there. Basically, all my clone troopers have that headset, and then you can pop in Ahsoka or whoever you want. Wait, yeah, there, and just close the compartment. Okay. Now let's go on to the details that you might not know. Okay, so, I don't know what this thing's for, pretty much, I don't know. I think these are either lights or blasters, I'm not sure, cannon, front cannons, um, what else, oh yeah, I think they should put more red on the clone turbo tank, because it kind of looks dull, okay, the wheels. Really good suspension. That's all I can see. See, like, watch when it runs over my head. Okay, right. All the wheels are look pretty good. This is definitely an all-terrain vehicle. No doubt. Okay, some cons to the Lego set. Cad Bane is all alone against two Jedi Knights, one Padawan, and two clone troopers. Why can't they supply him with some battle droids? Because honestly, what doesn't look right about this scene? Because he's surrounded by clone turbo tanks, Jedi clones. Yeah. Not a good day for him. And it's kind of a lot for just one Lego set, under twenty bucks. I think the original one was like eighty bucks. 
Oh, another good thing about this set is that it's a little bit bigger um, than the original one, but still, I think it's worth like 90 bucks. And another con is that there's no towers anymore, which was right around this area. It's where you could raise it up. And it could blast. I like that feature on the old clone turbo tank, but of course Lego didn't put it on. Kind of sad to see that go. Um and that's pretty much it for this Lego set review. I'm just a yard worker and join me for the next Lego review. Bye.